Okay, if Alec is Eddie's father, then 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 it it all makes sense. Everything falls into place. The job, the scholarship, the living arrangements. Oh my God, Eddie's gonna go out of his mind. The one man who's done all these things for him is the one man that he hates more than anybody in the world for deserting him and Dina. So, so it's not true. Evidence, evidence. It's here. My God, he's the same age as Dana. But it's a driver's license. A driver's license is not conclusive. So, you want to tell me just one more time that you're not a cop? For the last time, I am no longer a cop. Uh-huh. So the reason you'd be going through my wallet would be what? I'm looking for some sort of auto club card with an 800 emergency number on it, because I've lost mine. Gee, isn't that convenient? Well, not if you have sand in your gas tank. No, it's not. Well, just for your information, I'm not a member of the auto club. So the storm's over? Yeah, and the roads are a mess. But I was able to get through on my cell phone to my drivers and I'd try and make it up here. If he can make it through, I wouldn't count on it. Is that bad? Yeah. But the roads will be cleared up by the morning. Morning? Morning. So it looks like you and I will have to spend the night. This again, but I was actually driving past the house and I noticed that Margot's car wasn't out in front. She's not Dad? back. Is Mom back? Uh, she's not back yet, but she will be home soon. Uh, do me a favor, run upstairs and get ready for bed. When's she gonna be back? You know what? You have a science project to do tomorrow morning, and I've already finished my half. So run on up there and get ready, and I'll be able to say goodnight. So what do you want? The article. Remember, I, I have a draft now, and I thought maybe you could take a look at it. You know, just give me your opinion. Let me know what you think. I thought we already went through this. I know. I know. Actually, I, I sort of thought it might help, you know, keep your mind off Margot not being here. Keep you busy for a while, you know. OK. I'll give it a look. Well, it doesn't have to be right, right this second. I actually, I, I've, um, I got an extension on it because Alec wants to see it personally before it goes to press, and he's out for the night, <laughs> moving and shaking somewhere, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no! I'm sure you're wrong. Wrong about, uh, about what? Alec and Margot being together. You can have the bed all by your lonesome. That wasn't what I was thinking. Yes, it is. It's exactly what you were thinking. It's OK. I don't take advantage of damsels in distress. It's not my style. That was your cue to say something flattering to me. Oh, are we working with the script here? Why? Would you feel safer if we did? Well, w would you? I got my security consultant right here. How much safer can I get? <laughs> Sure, this is gonna be comfortable for you. Can I get you a couple extra pillows? What's wrong? I was just thinking. What? I was thinking how thoughtful you can be. Yeah, well, wait till I make you breakfast in the morning. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, Alex, so just tell me, what, why did you change your mind so, so drastically earlier? You know, why did you decide that Eddie shouldn't be part of the club project? Margot, I've already told you. No, you didn't. You, you just said that you changed your mind, but you didn't say why. I mean, is there something wrong with the project? Are you protecting Eddie? What? No one's ever told you 20 questions can be extremely annoying. Yeah. Did you set this up, Margot, getting trapped up here so you could dig for more dirt on me? Oh, come on, me. I was trying to get out of here. My car conked out. You probably put that sand in your own gas tank. I wouldn't put it past you. See, now there you go. That is a typical Alec Wallace maneuver. What's that? You, God forbid anyone should ask you to open up. Then, then the walls go up and the artillery comes out and you're on the attack. I'm attacking you. Yeah. You've done everything but use stun guns and rubber hoses to get me to talk. Well, would it help? I mean, look what you're doing right now, how you're turning it around and using it against me. Uh-huh. Thanks, Doc, for the info. Well, you're not going to do it this time, Alec. I'm not going to let you. Cut the armchair analysis, Margo. It's very annoying. You're in denial, Alec. Thought you were tougher than that. You know, they must love you down at the station. Get Hughes in here. She can play good cop and bad cop both at the same time. You know, it's just that I got a glimpse of the real you earlier tonight when you were talking about Eddie. It was something in your voice, something in your eyes. It was, it was something like a real emotion. Now, why are you so afraid of people seeing that? You know, Margo, in your cushy little suburban cocoon, I know people take kindly to bleeding hearts, but where I live, I swim with the sharks. One whiff of blood, and they'd eat me alive. You know, first of all, if you think I'm some sort of Martha Stewart clone, you can drop that right away, because I've been through hell more ways than you can possibly imagine. And second of all, this isn't about business or some little world that you live in, so stop hiding behind that three-piece suit. And what, spill my guts? Yeah, why not? It's just you and me. Why? Because confession's good for the soul? Because it's good for the heart, Alec. Come on, I know how hard it is to trust. But if you want to live in a real world with real people, then you're going to have to let your guard down. And do you think it's that simple? No. I think it's really damn difficult. I think you're a really complicated man. But I think there is something just aching to get outside of you. I think I know the sense of you, how I feel about you. Then what's that? Because I've seen that the moments that you let down and you've talked about how hard your past was. I've seen the way you've treated Eddie. I mean, you've done things for him that nobody else would. I think he's your one true connection. How is it you always manage to get to me? I think maybe because you want me to. It's my driver. I think you Wait, made... let's not stop. Or, or we could continue talking about this on the way back to town. I'm not going back to town with you. You know, I know what you're doing, Alec. And so do I. the second paragraph just for clarity and hand it in thanks thanks what i said before about alec and margot being to get i mean not what i mean is i'm sure they're not i'm digging myself deeper and deeper aren't i and that is my dog lucky waking up this neighborhood so i better check on him okay i'll um i'll see myself out and, and thanks again you've been a real lifesaver no problem Case, hi. Uh, if you're looking for your dad, he's outside with the dog. Where's my mom? Is she back yet? No, I'm afraid not. No, your mom's out with her new. Your mom is um, on a, uh, a meeting sort of thing for her new job. But I wouldn't worry about her. I'm sure she just lost track of, of time. Oh, Case, what are you doing down here? Casey was worried about his mom. So I was just telling him that, you know, she's off somewhere, you know, doing something for her new job. Uh, and Emily's right. You know how one track your mom gets when she's working. So 
Just go on up, get ready, and I'll be up to say goodnight. Right. Brush your teeth. Try toothpaste this time. <laughs> Good Something night, Something new, huh? Good night. Thanks, you, uh, said the right thing. Well, I hope I can do the right thing, you know, when our little guy needs, needs me. You will certainly figure that out. Well, one thing I have figured out is, no matter what age, kids need their parents. Yeah, if, uh, when she checks in with the office, please have her call home as soon as possible. Thanks. Where the hell are you? Damn it. Eddie, maybe, uh, maybe Eddie would have an idea. Hey. I was worried sick about you. <sighs> I mean, with the storm, you said you'd be home last night. When I didn't hear anything, forget about it. Forget. Are, are you all right? I'm, yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry I worried you. Wow. So, what happened? Oh, the storm. I got caught in the storm, and then the road washed out, and then, you know, I had car trouble. But I'm fine. Good. I mean, you're sure you're all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've had car trouble before. It's not yeah. a problem. So, what's with the tap dance, and, and why are you doing it with me? I'm telling you the truth. No, you're not. You're lying <laughs> through your teeth. I mean, I... I know you, and I know when something's going on. Can we please not do this? I just, yeah. I want to get up and take a shower. Sure, as soon as you tell me the truth. Well, let me get, at least get a cup of coffee. Well, I'm not going to let this drop. <sighs> All right, you want to know. You really, really want to know. Yeah. I spent the night with Alec. Yeah. It's me. He left a message for me to call. Margot Hughes turned up at my cabin last night, but she's back in Oakdale now. I'm ready for the hit. Good. And it's a go for today. We just have to wait till she's in place, and then we proceed as planned. Mm -hmm.